Hey guys, Thrasher here, and we have some new content in Dragon Ball Legends. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so first up, it's a brand new PvP season. Make sure to go over the PvP area and get your rewards. The game gave us a small update, so let's go to menu and then go to news and run through these real quick. So most of the stuff we care about is at the top here, but let's scroll down a little bit and try to find the new PvP season, which is right here. We're going to go ahead and open this up first. Two major things to note here. One, they're still keeping us capped at level 2000, so we don't get the level 3000 characters with the full soul boost yet. We're going to have one more season at level 2000. We're also going to get double Chrono Crystal rewards for anyone that makes the top 10,000 normally. We're going to scroll down here. The the winner of the season just like the last few seasons is going to get a title you're getting your z2 adventures as you win or lose i guess when you go through here and then here is the equipment item that you're going to get it's 15 percent to strike attack 15 percent to strike defense and then five percent to blast defense for each saiyan that's on your team so that means you can get up to 15 percent there not amazing and it's usable for all saiyans so there's lots of saiyan options maybe you want to grab one but i wouldn't really grab a bunch of these you can grab one as just kind of your your fail safe item in case you have a saiyan who for whatever reason doesn't have a lot of other great equipment options you can grab one of these do not grab multiple because i wouldn't say this is an amazing item at all so then we scroll down here and we just see you get your pretty standard rewards that we get every single season the battle ranks are all the same we're going to scroll down here and look for this right here so first place you're going to get 3,000. everyone else in the top 10,000 is going to get 2,000 crystals if you uh happen to make it that high so let's go ahead and back out of here and then we're gonna look at a couple other things near the bottom here real quick. So the next thing we need to talk about is this guy right here, the scout battles. We have a couple scout battles that have essentially returned. Um, the Goten and the Frieza. Make sure that you are maxing those characters out if you can, because you're gonna want those Z medals. We've already seen multiple times that Z medals are valuable. Uh, back in the day, we were getting the Goku Everyday Summon tickets, which allowed us to pull Gokus that some people may have already maxed, some people may not. But you wanna get these done if you can. Obviously, make sure that you're using a max level Goten and max level Frieza to get your free 200 Chrono Crystals for each, but the Z medals are very powerful. I don't think there's too much more we need to say here. Um, yeah, let's scroll down, get out of there, and then go back down here, and this guy right here, the Las Vegas Showdown. Um, it's essentially a recap video. It shows you uh, a bunch of the fights and things, and you can check it out. It's cool. Um, go ahead and check the news. It'll, it'll tell you how to go look at it. The next thing is the Ultra Space Time Rush. It's available again. You can do that if you want. There's nothing new and crazy there. We'll skip through that. We talked about PvP. The Legends Road Fusion Gotenks event is back. Make sure to do that and get him up to five stars. Um, he is going to increase your Fusions Team Z abilities, so he is absolutely worth it to get done. We have more of the Vegito missions available now so do more of the rising battle up to level 70 get all of those done as quickly as you can because you can get him to five stars and it makes your entire fusions team an absolute monster because he gets a massive buff to his z ability at five stars so make sure to get that done and then we can skip these two banners right here because we talked about them a couple days ago nothing's changed there next thing is part three of the appreciation campaign we can open this up and it's going to show the challenge rush which we'll talk about in just a second which is going to have some pretty important things going on there's another login bonus um we're, we're just going to get more Chrono Crystals, things of that nature, more uh, the summon tickets, the standard summon tickets that we've been getting. Then the next thing down here is it's talking about there's going to be more parts to the anniversary celebration. We are on part three right now, but there's still parts four and five that are coming. And then down here, it's talking about the Gotenks event that we just said. And I think we can go ahead and back out of here. And the big thing is the challenge rush. So let's go ahead and open this up. And the way the challenge rush works is that there are five different color challenge rushes. There's one for each color type. There's yellow, blue, green, red, purple. I believe that's all five. I don't think I missed any. And as we scroll down here, once you complete all five of them and you completely finish it out, you get the first challenge rush master title that you can use in PvP. You also get the hybrid color plus extreme equipment items um so let's scroll down here and look at those real quick and there's one new one so this is the new one right here it's extreme plus yellow if you have an extreme yellow character they can use this right here and they're all the same they're 25 percent to strike and blast defense 25 percent to strike and blast attack and then up to 12 percent to health but these make all of your extreme characters absolutely amazing and the reason that you need to be farming these to get 
absolutely amazing roles on each of these is because if we go back up here, let me find exactly where it talks about it. Um, it says, you can get super powerful equipment designated for extreme characters from each of this event's stages. And here's the huge thing, and Legends Battle Royal Extreme is coming in July. So we're getting another Legends Battle Royal. It's extreme only units. So make sure that whatever extreme characters you have, you, you build out a, a very powerful extreme team. You get the equipment items that you need for those characters, and you're obviously buffing them properly with uh, the correct Z abilities. And then to rise to the top in this extreme only PvP battle, you'll need the right equipment for your EX team, and you can find it right here. Okay, so that's awesome. That's really big news. We're getting a new battle royal. Make sure you're doing this. These stages are very hard, so don't just go in and just run any team you want. You're going to get absolutely stomped. Make sure that your team is set up for each specific stage. You're going to want to make sure that you have color advantage and make sure that you're essentially stacking damage. So say you're going in against the yellow stage, so you want to run a red team. Your best bet is probably to run the Super Saiyan 2, Father, Son, Kamehameha, Gohan, and then you want two other red units, but you also want to make sure that all five of your other characters that are on your team are built to try and really buff up your Gohan because it's going to be very hard to make a balanced red team that does enough damage to really get this done. What you want to really do is kind of just stack damage on one character. And with some of these colors, that isn't possible because not every color has a monster damage dealer like Gohan or a monster damage dealer like Super Vegito, but most of them have something that's reasonably close. And that's generally how you want to set this up is make sure you bring three of one color so you always have color advantage, but you're really trying to stack one unit's damage and buff it as high as you can. So just keep that in mind. And then the next thing that we need to to talk about is on the 19th they're bringing one more stage to this challenge rush and it's going to say that champion is here this is a special stage for you to test the limits of rising rush learn to read your opponent's moves and deliver the finishing blow so i think the way this is going to work is we're going to be fighting hercule he probably won't have a ton of health but it says that we're going to test the limits of rising rush so i think the key is we're going to try to do as much damage as possible with rising rush and we get bonus rewards the more damage we do with rising rush the most damage i've seen done so far is 42 million by a super Vegito, but they were doing a lot of things to stack that up. You won't be able to do that much damage against the Hercule. In fact, they were having their opponent use Whis's green card over and over and over to stack his buffs. So if that is the case, I think it'll be really interesting to see how much damage people can do with Rising Rush, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens there. And then we'll just scroll down through here real quick just so you can kind of see what characters are on each team. So these will be three red characters. You want to bring blue against them. Um, and like I said, these stages are fairly hard, so we'll just keep scrolling down through here. I might do a, a sort of a guide for each stage so that you have a general idea of which character to use. The problem is a lot of these stages, unless you have a very specific character, they become very hard to defeat. But I don't think there's any stage in here that I've seen so far that you absolutely must have one specific character or you can't beat it. It just becomes very, very, very hard if you don't have that one specific character. And that's pretty much it for this update. If you guys think I missed anything, I don't really need to talk about this update announcement up here it's just two quick little bugs that they fix that once you update to 1.34 you'll be good to go don't worry about them if you guys think i missed any content make sure to throw it down below and if you like this make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video